Next week, dove season opens here in my state, or in the state I'm hunting in, which isn't my state. It's about three and a half hour drive, so I'm just kind of going over with some of the stuff I use. Uh, of course, you just need a shotgun. This is a semi-automatic 12 gauge. You can use a 20, a 410, a 16, uh, whatever you want to use. Uh, of course, the larger the, uh, the the gauge, the better, or the smaller the gauge, the more shot you're going to have in each individual shot. So you'll have a better chance of hitting them. Now, if you're thinking you're going to go out with one box of shells and hit your limit, uh, you'll probably be sorely mistaken. Uh, a lot of times, it can take dozens and dozens of shells just to just to get your limit on dove. And make sure you know what your limit is. Don't go over limit. Uh, don't need any fines or get in trouble for that. Uh, as I say, it can be a semi, it can be a pump, it can be single action. It doesn't matter. Uh, just that you get out and enjoy it. So this one right here is just a Browning. It's a Gold Hunter. This is a 12 gauge semi-automatic. Okay, now for the rest of the stuff I take with me when I go dove hunting, which one thing I don't have in here, which is bug spray. Uh, always first of September, there's still lots of mosquitoes around in my part of the woods, and so I always like to have bug spray. So I did do not have that in my bucket. Now for a chair, you can use one of these swivel buckets or a regular bucket, or you can use a nice lounge chair like what I'm sitting in, but you want to stay away from bright colors. Uh, a drab brown, uh, camouflage chair would be fine. Uh, as for clothing, you're going to want both uh, camouflage shirt and pants. Uh, these birds have very good eyes. They can see you, they can spot a person a mile away. Uh, they just, and they won't come in. So you want to make sure you kind of get into some weeds or get behind some weeds or be in the shade, be where they can't see you real well. When I go next week, we'll have some more videos coming up on it and I'll kind of show you how I set up and all that. But as I say, that's a three hour drive for me from here. So and we're not going to have that until next week when I get up there. Okay, so in my bucket, I'll, the reason why I like these little buckets is because you can put everything in here, and you know, and and have a place to sit. Also, you can carry it; has a carry handle. Very nice to do. Okay, first off, of course, is shotgun shells. Now, what you're going to want is either seven and a half or eight shots. You're going to want the smaller shot because there'll be more pellets per uh, shell, which equals a better chance of hitting one of these birds. Now, uh, these are just one ounce. They do make one and one eighth ounce, which will give you an eighth ounce more shot in it. Uh, as I say, again, another chance. The only reason why I bought these is, as I say, it's a week before dove season, and they were $3 a box. So, I know I'm gonna go through a bunch of them, so this saves me a little bit of money on that. Okay, my next, thing I like, I use a Mojo Dove. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these, but they are worth their weight in gold. Uh, this is just a little stand for it. Put it together and you can st stick it in the ground and then put your Mojo Dove on it. And what this is, is just a uh, motorized Dove where the wings swing around. It uses four AA batteries, so it'll last about 16 to 20 hours. And all you'll do is you'll slip your wings on. The button's underneath the tail to turn it on. And there you go. And what this does is it mimics a bird coming in to land. I like to lay, put these at an angle from the fly zone. As I say, if you go over a field, a lot of times if they're flying over the field, they're going, they're at a certain point. Uh, they're going over about the same place on the field. If you put this at an angle where they can see this, the back to it or into the wind uh, is another way I like to do it because most of the time birds come in, you know, they, that helps slow them down so they'll come into the wind. Uh, this will help you to draw them in. I've seen birds fly from a quarter, half mile away all the way over to these decoys and it slows them way down. A lot of times they come in to land so they're real easy to shoot or easier to shoot than once they're just flying over uh, without using the decoy. Uh, a lot of times I'll have a couple of these out. Uh, we might have three for two people, uh, two for one person. It just depends on which one to do. Uh, as I say, we'll have a lot more on that uh, when we go out and set up next weekend 
and show you exactly how we do it and hopefully we'll, we'll get some birds. But uh, dove hunting is a, a, a fun sport. Uh, it's fun to share with lots of people. As you will see, as I say, if we have a good week next week, we have eight or ten people that are going to come out and dove hunt with us. It's just a blast for the whole family and just a lot of fun to do. So if you have any questions or comments, please list them down below. But get out and enjoy the great outdoors.